Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a hot topic in the tech world, JSON versus XML. Which one should you use? Let's break it down. JSON and XML are data formats for transmitting and storing data, but they have some key differences. First, let's look at JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. It's lightweight, easy to read, and quick to pass. JSON is perfect for web applications and APIs because it's less verbose and more efficient. Here's a simple example. As you can see, JSON uses key value pairs and is easy to understand. This JSON object represents a person with three attributes. Their name is John, their age is 30, and they live in New York. JSON is commonly used for transmitting data in web applications because it is easy to read and write for both humans and machines. Now, let's compare this to XML. XML, which stands for Extensible Markup Language, is more verbose and flexible. It's great for documents where you need to include metadata and attributes. Here's the same data in XML format. This XML snippet describes a person with three attributes. Their name is John, their age is 30, and they live in New York. XML is often used to represent complex data structures, especially when metadata and hierarchical relationships are important. XML uses tags, much like HTML, which can make it more complex and harder to read. However, XML's structure allows for more detailed descriptions and is useful in complex data scenarios. So, how do you decide which one to use? Let's look at a few scenarios. If you're building a web application and need fast performance and easy data interchange, JSON is your best bet. Its simplicity and speed make it ideal for REST APIs and web services. On the other hand, if you're working with complex documents, data with lots of attributes, or need to ensure compatibility with older systems, XML might be the way to go. At the end of the day, the choice between JSON and XML depends on your specific needs. JSON is great for speed and simplicity, while XML excels in complexity and extensibility. Think about the requirements of your project and choose the format that best fits those needs. And remember, in some cases, you might even use both. I hope this video helped you understand the differences between JSON and XML. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech insights. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos.